Hey, good morning, everyone. Meteorologist Jim Dickey here in the ABC7 Hurricane Center with another edition of Tropics Talk here on the first official day of hurricane season. Yeah, hurricane season now upon us it begins June 1st, goes all the way through the end of November. But just because the season has started officially doesn't mean anything has really changed out there in the Atlantic. No, once again, it's uh, pretty quiet as we look across the Atlantic Basin here this morning. No name storms, no areas that the Hurricane Center has highlighted for potential development out there either. Uh, the only little thing that we'll be looking at in uh, more in depth, that little swirl going on over the Bahamas. We'll look at that in just a second. But generally speaking, we expect June to be quiet. As we go back through the past 100 years of activity in the Atlantic, this is plotting out all the tropical storms and hurricanes that have formed. Notice uh, June tends to be uh, very, very quiet. We keep things relatively stable out there even through early july you don't really start to see that uptick in activity until we get to august uh, really what it comes down to is uh we heat things up through the early part of the summer we're heating up the basin we're settling into our summertime pattern it doesn't fully establish itself until august september that's when the waters are at their warmest that's when uh, the jet stream is way up north into canada and you've lessened the way of wind shear so yes activity does not peak until we get to september mid-august through mid-october is the heart of hurricane season have a long way to go before we get there but there's a reason the season does start in june there have been storms that have formed on average uh one to two have tended to form over the past 10 years or so and generally speaking when they do uh climatology tells us we have to watch systems coming out of the south caribbean that try to form in the gulf of mexico one of the spots in the basin where waters tend to be warm enough or off the east coast Another way we get storms to form is from non-tropical origins, non-tropical lows, upper lows, stalled fronts that sort of stall out and hang up over warm waters for a couple of days, find a little pocket of lower wind shear, and then spin up into something weak. And so that's something close to what we're seeing right now going on off the East Coast. This is a non-tropical low pressure area. Uh, this uh, is a front, really, that moved into central Florida, stalled out, upper low associated with it, still sort of producing that spin over the Bahamas. It looks way more impressive than it actually is. There's nothing tropical going with this right now. It's really just an increased area of thunderstorms. No organization to this at this point in time. There's a lot of wind shear in the area. Uh, there's no reason to think that is going to come together. The hurricane season not even pegging that for potential development at this point in time. Basically, yes, while there's a pretty well-defined swirl right now, this will likely spin itself out, fall apart in the next day or so as it drifts north and gets absorbed into another front moving across the southeast. So big headline right now, no development expected for at least the next five days. Hopefully longer than that. As we go out into the longer range, models continue to hint at, you know, sort of like what we looked at in the climatology, the South Caribbean, an area to watch. I still think it's more or less picking up on activity going on in uh, the eastern Pacific. This is the uh, European ensemble model and this is going all the way out through the end of next week so 240 hours out where you lose faith in what the model is saying but again it it, it this has along with the gfs and king and on that area so keep one eye on that as we head through next week but at this point in time there is sort of nothing uh evident imminent developing out there in the atlantic nothing to worry about at this point in time yeah for your takeaways today typical quiet continues out there across the atlantic basin for at least the next week if not longer than that, no development expected for at least the next five days. But we'll keep one eye on the South Caribbean Sea as we work our way into next week. And, of course, across the entirety of the basin. Anything out there, we'll be tracking it for you. We'll be watching it for you all season long. Of course, coming up tonight, Chief Neurologist John Patrick. He'll have a full update on everything going on out there across the tropics or lack thereof activity on ABC 7 News at 6, 7, and 11. So until next time, I'm meteorologist Jim Dickey. Happy hurricane season.